Anthony Avril is the co-CEO of Nation of Kings and so too is photographer Jamal Fontelio who had time to speak with us at Marigou Bay. Nation of Kings is an umbrella corporate entity which comprises premium photography, a musical band called Blueprint and an art troupe called OTC, it stands for On The Corner. They are described as a performance and marketing group. To tell us more about Nation of Kings, let us chat now with Jamal Fontelio, the co-CEO of Nation of Kings. Okay, my name is Jamal Fonselio, and this whole thing you see here is Premium Photography, which is an, a facet of Nation of Kings. Nation of Kings is the art development and networking group. Under Nation of Kings, we have the band Blueprints. They specialize in R&B, um, hip hop, and basically any genre. They have fusion band. We have Premium Photography, which is a very uh, a look at Saint Lucia in a different way, and we also have OTC on the corner. It's a performance and marketing group. What they do is market new and old businesses using performance artists. Alright, that's what they do. Explain to us the concept. How was it born, first of all? The concept of Nation of King is basically to um, get the youth active. To see that the youth is actually doing something. And Nation of Kings, the name Nation of Kings means everyone is royalty. Boy, girl, woman, everybody. Um, the way it, it, it runs is basically Nation of Kings as a whole is an umbrella company. What we do is we get the jobs for the other facets and we designate them, we, we delegate them. Okay, so is it, is, it, is, it, is it a legally registered company? How do you operate as a business? Yes, we are legally registered under the name Nation of Kings or NOK to you. We currently have our Facebook site, Nation of Kings at Facebook. Um, and we're getting the, the necessary websites and so on and so forth. We're just emerging, we are grassroots business. And this is a milestone actually for Nation of Kings because we've only been operational for two years so far. And this is the second time we've been at Jazz on the Bay. And on behalf of Nation of Kings, we would like to thank Capella for this opportunity. So do you have a structure? Like do you have a, a managing director? Do you have a board? How do you operate? I am the CEO, El co-CEO, myself and Anthony Avril. And we have seven people on the board of managers and we have 10 people that work under the managers. Under each asset, there's three photographers in premium photography. Um, premium photography, sorry. There are 10, 10 artists in OTC and the band by itself are six members. So, like, are they shareholders or do they work for the group? How does it work out? Well, basically, they're shareholders in the group as well. Whatever they produce, that's what the group is. So we cannot operate without them. You understand? So whatever they, 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 they put out, that's what we use to put out there as a group. What we do, basically we work in the business of refining what the youth have to bring to, to, to this country. We refine it and put it out there as a complete product. That's what we do. I'm trying to find out in terms of the revenue that you generate. Does it go into a central account or do get people get paid from it or how does that work out? First of the bat, we get paid from it. We get paid each a very small stipend, uh, but the majority goes to uh, a central account where we delegate that to buying equipment for the for, for the group in a whole. Because we have dancers, we have poets, we have painters, as you can see, we have band artists, we have actually musicians. So we need everyone to be at the top of their game. So what we do, we get we collect the money. Each group operates as a tentacle. They go out by themselves and fetch whatever gigs that they can. They pull the money together and we buy the necessary equipment for us to get better. Every year we get better. That's, that's, that's the main thing about Nation of Kings. There's no stagnance with Nation of Kings. We are a forever evolving and moving group. We always move and we always evolve to become better every single time that we go up. And finally, um, is the group Nation of Kings open to any young person or do we have a limited membership? There is no limited men membership. Nation of Kings is open as long as there is an art form that you are willing to display and there is a willingness to perfect that art form to put it out there on the market. Excellent, thank you very much, good luck, congratulations. Alright, thank you very much. Okay, name's Gilroy Hippolyte. Um, better known as Gilroy H on the art side. Um, well, with this, I'm doing a bit of an abstract piece, more or less coming in from the head. There's no really planning in there, but I'm just allowing the colors to blend in and see where it goes from there so I could create a little bit of a masterpiece. 
explain to us exactly what inspired this event here today. Okay, well, with this here, um, we're just trying to see if we can get our group, which is OTC, um, on the corner. It's a group of performance, very young, talented people. I have some of my group members right here. Uh, we're just trying to see if we can get people exposed to the art side of the youth here on this island. Because we're really trying to get it out there, get people to notice us, get people to understand that there's more to this society than just, you know, the music and the dance, it's everything. Everything that's informed with art, that's us. All right, so what inspired the group and where is the group based and who are its members? All right, well, with the group, Okay, first we have Avril here who came to me um, about putting this group together. We already had, we're all friends here. We already have the different talents and we figured why not take it to a larger perspective? Why not go to the public with this? So at first it was more or less just trying to provide entertainment, getting people to see what we can do, but now we've taken it to a more business perspective and putting in this. And this is actually one of our first big show um, turn-ups here at Jazz on the Bay. So give us an idea, I know you're doing this painting here, what are the activities you have happening here today? Alright, we have drama, we have dance coming in as well, uh, we have a few skits. I'm going to be painting while some of the, the poetry is going to be going on. I'll be painting as well, so you could more or less get an artistic side of what is being said in the poetry itself. What else we got? We have photography, of course, premium photography. We do lots and lots and lots of portrait pics. Uh, very good work. You can always check us out. We're just in the corner. On so, the how, how old is the group? Where is it based? Just a little, a couple of months. About a few months. Yeah, just about a few months. We're, we're relatively new, um, but we look to be around as, as long as possible. But yeah, as I said, we're just coming up. We hope that a lot of people get to appreciate what we're doing and get to see what we have to provide. What does this event here in Marigo mean to you and your group? It's a start. It's a start. It's definitely a great opportunity for us to get ourselves out there and also put the island and its art on the spotlight. And explain to us the painting that we're having right here over your shoulders. Well, for now, I want to keep it a surprise. I want to keep it a surprise. There's a big reveal. Yeah, there's a big reveal. There's a big reveal. For now, yeah. let's just admire the color. So we come back to you in like half an hour for a big reveal? Of course. Definitely. Definitely. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Gilroy obviously does not want to reveal the final product right now, but we will do so in our next segment. Next on Calabash Community, can only Lubin, better known as Zed, etch a living of coconut bird feeders. Stay tuned for the answer.